we've got a few uh, 504th veterans here, so I would like to tell you something about the 504th Bomb Group. There, as you know, there were many uh, bomb groups here on Saipan, on Tinian, and on Guam. The 504th Bomb Group was the best of the best, and I will tell you why. You have heard of uh, General Paul Tibbets that dropped that bomb that uh, brought a, a quick end to the war. When General Tibbets was uh, ready to start training and putting his crews together, he was asked by the generals above him what group he wanted to train with. And if many of you have heard him speak, he says this every time. I think the 504th is the best, so I want to train with the 504th. He was the 393rd Squadron in the 504th. And when he left as the rest of the 504th uh, group headed out this way, uh, he went to Wendover, Utah. And the 504th Bomb Group came out here with only two squadrons. All the rest of the groups had three squadrons. Our ground crews were so good, we were putting as many B-29s over Japan with two squadrons as the other groups were with three. Then uh, there's another thing. You've heard about, about us bottling up the Japanese waters and, uh, with Operation Starvation. The mining operation was to start, and I had the privilege even of being on the first crew to demonstrate to an admiral how we could drop these mines in the Japanese waters and put them in 100 by 100 foot squares by radar. We had 100 pound practice bombs and we flew this admiral to an island north of here. He had the uh, bay nearby laid out in 100 by 100 foot squares and, and, and we put them right in the middle. So I think this gives you a good idea of why the 504th was the best. When they, when they decided to lead off the mining operation, they asked 504th to do it. So we, we took it month by month, but we took it the first month. Now I would like to give you a, a, a lot of thanks. And when I say this, I'm probably speaking for millions of veterans in the United States. I came here back in 95, and every young person was interested in talking to me, and they thanked me. I didn't think much about it then, but getting off of the airplane in Guam last night, I helped a, a young uh, lady from Guam. We talked a little bit, and as we were leaving, she said, thank you for being a veteran. And I had that already. The first man I met here this morning, a young man. Uh, we talked a little bit, and he thanked me for being a veteran. This is so good. In the United States, we have a problem. We have at least two generations and another coming on that don't know what we did. They're not being taught in the schools, and they're trying, some of them are even trying to rewrite history to where the, our, we are the veterans, that we were so terrible to Japan to drop these horrible bombs on them. They don't know anything about history. They don't know of all the atrocities that the Japanese did before uh, we ended it. You have done an excellent job of, of teaching your children. They all know, they're all thankful, they all express these thoughts. And I, on behalf of millions of American veterans, want to thank you for a, very, a job very well done. And with that, I will thank you for being so kind to us. Uh, we're, you're always so hospitable. Uh, you take such good care of us when we come out. And speaking on all of us that are here today on, on their behalf, I would like to thank you very much. And hope you will invite us again. Thank you. Well, I was concentrating so much. <laughs> on what I was saying, I forgot to mention a very important uh, thing. We, we uh, besides everything else that the 504th had that was so great, we, we had, we have the best historian of all of the military historians for World War II. 
and he has brought a 504th Bomb Group history book that he would like to present uh, to the Lieutenant Governor. Mr. Fisk Hanley, would you come up, please? And the Lieutenant Governor. Well, folks, it's a great pleasure and honor to be here with you to help you and us celebrate this great occasion. I'd like to make a couple of points here before I present the book. I was one of the uh, 300,000 prisoners of the Japanese. All 300,000 prisoners were to be executed when the invasion of Kyushu began. If it had not been for those atomic bombs, I would be here and 300,000 others wouldn't be here. That was, Harry Truman made, our president made a great decision. Okay, all right. I, uh, in the historian, I'm really an engineer, but I got volunteered to, to write the history book. I didn't know how to write one, so I engineered this history book. <laughs> <laughs> and it came out in 1992, and uh, in 1995, I, I, I was over in 91 before the book came out, and then in 95, and I gave a copy of this book to the library over on Tinian. But my heart also belongs here on Saipan, because my combat crew, on its way over here to combat, landed right here on Saipan, first on the way to Tinian. So I'm mighty pleased to be able to make this presentation to the uh, governor and lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands. And uh, this book is uh, sort of generic. I wrote it that way because there were 21 bomb group books and groups in the Northern Mariana Islands and ours is one of those. So uh, this book we would like to leave with you so that our heritage will carry on. You bet. He didn't say that was the best of those uh, history books. <laughs> 